So we've designed a chart here and I'd like to show you something to add a bit of colour to it because the, the chart isn't particularly colourful at the moment and as well as layering indicators and so on you can use your imagination and create a, a much more comfortable look at the market. So what I'm going to do here is if we go to the weight of money which is the chart that we're plotting in the middle here at the moment you can see we've got a constant line and a plot of the uh, weight of money. I mean the first thing actually we could um, at a moving average as well. That would seem a, a sensible addition to to the charts here as well. But when you've got lots of little squiggly lines on here, sometimes uh, you feel that maybe visually that isn't the right way to look at things. So what I'm going to do here is uh, embellish it a bit. So I'm going to select the weight of money here. So we're on the weight of money chart which is in the middle. And we're going to select the weight of money line. But what I'm going to do now is fill this from base. So I've selected display style filled from base and if I click save here you can see what happens um, at this particular point. Um, it's important as well because we've got lines running behind it it's the default setting um, is 255 here and this makes it very opaque in other words if we do that you can see that it basically sits on top of the line but if I um, make this 125 you can see it makes it a little bit more transparent so you can play around with those settings from there so we filled from base which is which is fine but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a second weight of money line but this one I'm going to fill from the top and we'll change this color to a sort of pinkish color we'll make that less opaque as well and if I save then you can see what we've done here is plotted a chart um, with a, a multicolor chart basically so it is perfectly possible to create something other than just a boring line chart and that's why we've got the filled uh, from bottom filled from top options within the charting as well and of course you could do this on uh, volume you could do it on price um, or whatever you want to do it but I just thought I'd show you that trick so that uh, you could probably put that to use